Good morning, welcome to a new video with me, Richard Clements. As you'll be able to tell by the, uh, the title of this video, I'm riding the Rebellion Way. And so if you don't know what the Rebellion Way is, it's a long distance cycle route that's been dreamt up by Cycling UK. And it's the uh, newest of the series of long distance uh, routes. So you've got the King Alfred's Way, you've got the Canty Way, you've got the West Kirno Way, and the uh, Great North Trail. And, and now you've got the... Uh, uh, <laughs> my mind's gone blank. This route. Anyway, the uh, Rebellion Way, yes. So the Rebellion Way... I've probably forgotten uh, one or two of the long distance routes, but you, you get my drift. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is 235 miles uh, around the county of Norfolk. Um, from what I've read and seen, uh, it's not quite as uh, gnarly as some of the others. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm expecting to cover ground reasonably quickly. Um, and you know and i think it's more designed for novices not novices is probably a, a too harsh a term but uh uh you know people who are less experienced shall we say anyway the official start finishes in uh, norwich outside the railway station but because i live in the west country i've started at thetford uh which is a couple of miles down back down the road there uh so today is uh, Thursday the uh, 19th of January 2023 and uh, it's just gone 9am 9, 9 and uh, this is my third attempt at this intro uh, because I managed to find the road that everybody was going to work on so uh, hence I'm uh, just come out a couple of miles through the, a rather delightful village called Croxton uh, which had a stunning church and uh, I decided I would uh, find a gateway and, and do this intro so uh yeah it's uh frosty shall we say it was sub-zero uh before daylight i got here probably around 7 7 a.m maybe something like that and then i went and found a, a weather spoons pub and had a very quick breakfast in there and then i've basically uh headed out of town uh just this the rush hour it was uh well just at the end of rush hour really anyway uh so today i'm heading towards king's lynn i've only got a 57 mile ride today so it's a nice sort of introduction uh to the a multi-day ride um tomorrow is a bit further i think it's 70 something uh, and i'm staying i forgot to say i'm staying tonight in the premier inn in uh kings lynn so uh i'm not doing any camping on this one and you can kind of see why behind me uh the white is the moisture in the soil has been frozen so it's got frost on top anyway yeah so i'm uh, i'm not going to do any camping on this on this ride i'm uh i'm uh, chickening out and i'm going to uh, stay inside all three nights so tonight i'm staying in the uh premier inn in kings lynn tomorrow night bit of a blast from the past because i've actually booked a room at sharingham youth hostel so uh i haven't done any youth hostel in probably since the early 90s so uh that's going to be uh fun and then the final night uh i'm staying in a pub in a place called dickleborough and uh it means on on the last day a sunday uh i'll have about 25 mile 30 mile ride back here to thetford and then uh, that'll be me done. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd try this one uh, this time of year. You know, it's a bit unusual doing it in January, I guess. But uh, um, and I, I, I seem to have picked, picked good weather, which makes a change because uh, every ride I've done so far has been wet. Anyway, I'm just on the edge of uh, Thetford Forest. I believe some of the uh, first off-road stuff is actually gravel in the forest. So uh, let's get going and get warmed up and I shall speak to you in a bit. Well, that's not something you see every day. <laughs> Have I gone wrong and we're in Alaska? What a crazy... 
crisp morning. Sometimes the saying goes, don't, don't keep looking back. Always look forward, move forward and all that. But sometimes you just need to look from where you've come from. I mean, what a wicked, what a wicked view. There's a bit of hoar frost on there. Well, this is the first uh, off-road section. Uh, it's quite smooth, uh, double track, uh, with sort of craters <laughs> in it. But uh, no, it's pretty good. Um, this is part of the Thetford cycle loop, according to the signs back there. Uh, that's across the main road. Uh, which the uh, accompanying guidebook actually warns you about. There was one before as well, but uh, it wasn't too bad now, I had no issues really. Arboretum National uh, Trust Forestry Commission actually I think not National Trust but uh, yeah it's a lovely uh, lovely cafe here I'm looking for somewhere to uh, have a nice coffee and I'll just stop for a coffee just to warm me up because it is Baltic So I'm still in the set, set for forest, it's quite big. Although uh, they do, do say that, you know, the, the on this section between uh, Thetford and Kings Lynn, you know, 30k is is this sort of thing. And uh, I've just come onto this sort of uh, gravelly uh, surface. It's all been that kind of thing over there. You can see that's got frost on the grass for the last couple of miles. Linford uh, Arboretum, uh, whilst I think of it, um, I think uh, in the summer there'll be a lot of dog walkers and pooches about, so, uh, you know, if, if you, this, this does take your fancy, I think, uh, you know, you need to sort of kill the pace and share the space, you know. Uh, uh, it's only for, like, a few hundred yards, really, probably 500 yards, and uh, it went quiet then, so, you know, it's no big shakes. Well, this is about a quarter of a mile from where I spoke to you before, and uh, this is the Desert Rats Memorial, the 7th Armoured Division of the, uh, the Desert Rats, and the uh, plaque says from El Alamein to Berlin via North Africa, Italy, Thetford Forest, France, Belgium and Holland.
sorry for it. So, uh, it's, uh, yeah, as I said, it's, it's got very flat now, so that's that's good. Um, I've just uh, stopped in this gateway here to uh, well, actually I had to make a phone call, and uh, as I've stood here, uh, I actually saw two F thirty five stealth fighters take off, um, which is impressive. And um, they are quite a way away, you know. Uh, I think that's RAF Marum, and. Uh, and it was a noise to start with, and I thought, oh, I wonder if some something's going to take off, and sure enough, it did. So, uh, yeah, I've got a, a northerly wind today, so that's going to be a bit of a pain, sort of, uh, well, for all day today, really, because I'm heading north, although I'm probably not far halfway now, anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm uh, not far from Swaffham. I'm going to stop there for lunch. It's, it's about midday now. Um, I'm really dawdling, and it's, I'm really enjoying that. And uh, you know, uh, yeah, it's, it's been really good. So anyway, let me do that so I'm not in my, my shadows in my own face. So I'm, I'm now in uh, Swaffham. I was going to have a proper sort of sit down lunch, but uh, time's getting on a little bit. And uh, oh, I've just come in this petrol station, and uh, God, I'm just having a Anyway, I got looking at the, um, the guidebook, so uh, I didn't actually mention that too much at the beginning. But uh, uh, Cycling UK do a printed guide to the Rebellion Way, written by uh, Guy Kesevan. And uh, I just thought I would... Uh, so this the bit that I'm doing and the book today is part two actually, Thetford to Kings Lynn. And uh, it was Grimes Graves and I missed it somewhere. But uh, yeah, I did like the bit through the um, uh, Thetford Forest, that was good, yeah. Oh, you can do that on a touring bike as long as it's got chunky tires uh, yeah so I saw the Linford Arboretum which is where I had the coffee the Desert Rats Memorial Oxborough I didn't really see yeah I didn't really see a lot there and I'm now I've come through Cockley Clay into Swatham home of the Swabians apparently Gets its name from the invaders from southwest Germany. Excuse me. Apparently, Horatio Nelson's wife lived here. Oh, look at this. Impressive uh, ruin. I'll uh, go up the uh, the track with all the ice <laughs> icebergs on, and uh, I don't think Kings Lynn's that far off. No, going by the uh, amount of traffic noise in the distance, but uh, certainly can't complain at the weather today. I don't mind it cold, and uh, put more clothes on. actually a church I thought it was a castle when I was down there but uh, according to the sign it's the ruined church of St James uh, 
it used to be, uh, although it's now, um, you know, sort of on its own, it used to be part of a village, so uh, quite an incredible place. Wow, that looks like a nice bath and a half, doesn't it? Now, I'm not, I doubt this is here permanently. We've had probably a good month of on and off rain, so I think it's just one of those places that it collects. I doubt if there's anything, any drainage here, so uh, um, it's, yeah, it might be here all the time. So I'm just going to walk through this side. Uh, well, folks, look at this. Spectacular. On another bit of uh, off, off road now. Near voices. And, um, what on there? Um, yeah, I had another the previous section of off road, which is a track the same as this. And I followed a uh, Land Rover along there. I thought it was a farmer and it, it was sort of going the same speed as me and then he stopped. I was trying to work out what he was going to do. Then he drove off and poured into the into a gate. Oh, oh he spotted me. No, he just stuck it in reverse and then he reversed into me. I mean, he didn't do it deliberately, but uh, he just like blimey. me. Yeah, look at that. I can hear a main road somewhere. Must be near uh, civilization now. So I'm in uh, Kings Lynn now. My accommodation is over that way somewhere. I'm pointing there. Uh, the uh, Rebellion Way is, is probably about 200 metres behind me. And uh, that's me done for today for that. Uh, so that's about uh, 90k done of uh, the Rebellion Way. Just a gentle break in, you know, to. Uh, uh, get me started a bit further tomorrow over an extra 20 miles around uh, thereabouts to uh, Sheringham Youth Hostel I'm looking forward to that I'm hoping the weather sticks like this let me just turn around because it is absolutely beautiful there we go I'm not talking about me either anyway I'm going to go and get in the warm. <laughs> So I uh, booked a room at the uh, um, Premier Inn at Kings Lynn, and uh, it's, a, it's a cycle track to within 200 yards of here, so it's absolutely perfect. I do feel a bit of a heat in bringing the bike in the room, but uh, they were fine about it. Just apologetic, they don't have a lift, and I had to carry it up the stairs. It was only one one floor, so it wasn't too bad. But, oh, the temperature outside is, is now dropping like a stone, so I'm I'm glad that's over for today. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed that. It's really good. <laughs> 